some of these little pet shops can go for big money. I ended up selling them. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we are gonna talk about some bread and butter bolos. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I picked these items up super cheap. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. Let's get started. So the first item here are these block, uh, they're tap shoes, and these were in really nice condition with the original box. And I went ahead and picked these up at a garage sale for $1. They're tap shoes. Uh, they're Mary Jane style tap show shoes, size 13.5. I figured, I mean, for a buck, I could definitely sell them. $22.75 plus shipping on those. They did take a little while to sell, kind of a long tail item. Okay, so this I picked up at the Goodwill bins. It was stuffed inside of a teddy bear and I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. Um, and I didn't want the bear. The condition of the bear, if I remember correctly, wasn't great. I don't remember why I didn't grab the bear, but I took the sound box and I got it home and I tested it and it worked. And this sold super quick. It is out of a uh, Dex Products bear and it has a heartbeat sound. So this is a replacement piece. I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. The next item I picked up at a church sale, and I think I paid like a buck or 50 cents for this. It's a vintage 1989 Ollie Dog North American Bear Company plush. It's seven inches long. I sold this for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. The next item is this Mega Blocks First Builders car. It's a push toy. I always pick these up when I see them. They always sell. Are they a big money item? No, they are bread and butter, but they do sell. I got this at the Goodwill bins, so my cost of goods was probably 50 cents, maybe less, and I sold it for $9.10 plus shipping. This here is a little pet shop, littlest pet shop, LPS. This is a uh, Dotson. I always want to say Dash Hound, but it is pronounced Dotson, so yay for me. I got it right. I think I said it right. It's from 2006. Some of these little pet shops can go for big money. I ended up selling this for $26 plus shipping, and I got this in a bundle at a garage sale. These here I got out of the Goodwill bins, and I just picked them up because they looked interesting. I had no idea what they were, but what they are is they're from 1995. They're Mighty Morphin Power Rangers McDonald's Buckle Coins, and there's three of them here. Um, how did I figure out what these were? I used Google Lens. And if you don't have Google Lens or don't know what Google Lens is, it is free. You can download it to your phone and it is free. It has like saved me so much time. Um, I do have a video on how it works. Just search Bolo Buddies Google Lens in the search bar. It'll pull it up um, on YouTube. So these came from the Goodwill Benz. I ended up selling these for... $9.75, my asking price, and the buyer was all in for $15.51 with tax and shipping. My cost of goods was probably like a quarter or less. This one came from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I have a person that I bought stuff from, and they reached out to me again and said, hey, I've got more stuff. Do you want it? And I said, sure. So I went and picked it up. This is one of the items that was in there. She does have a broken arm, but I still put her in there just in case somebody wanted it and just... I figure somebody was buying it for the vehicle. It's got lights and sounds. My cost of goods was about a dollar. Sold it for 15 plus shipping. The next item is this Wendell August single switch cover plate. It's a dogwood flower. These are handmade solid brass. This is what you're looking for on the back. If you've been around my channel for a while, I did a video on this brand because I picked these up at a garage sale and oh my goodness, they are an amazing they sell amazing. I have just been shocked at how well they've done. Um, probably about a dollar each in these. And the person bought both of these for $62 plus shipping. The next item came from that estate sale clean out. Um, this was pretty ratty. Um, 
I said, marking it is pre-owned because it was not stored great and is a bit dusty. And that's the truth. I shook it out and that's all I did. And I sold it as is. I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. Um, cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. This here is the Wolf Sculpture Soapstone Canada Otter on Back Holding Baby. And this is what it has on the bottom. Um, I got this at a thrift store for a buck. I just thought it looked interesting, not something that I was super familiar with, but animals do sell. I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This one I got at a garage sale for a buck. I'm surprised I picked this up. It's not really my type of thing that I would pick up, but it's a trick-or-treat ghost boo chunky wood shelf sitter primitive Halloween figurine. I got this for a buck and I sold it for $12 plus shipping. These right here um, came from a garage sale. I paid a buck each for them. And I go to this garage sale every year. It's in a community sale. And I always find cool vintage items. Um, these are Reckitts, R-E-C-K-I-T-T-S, -E laundry blue bags. I don't even know what these are, but I just, it's vintage advertising. It's super cool. It actually has the items in them. They are new old stock, really, really cool. Um, right there. I took it out just so you guys could see and the buyer could see, but that's what it is. So they bought this one and then they bought these and this is what they look like. And they paid $57 for the set. They were all in for $68.36. So I did go ahead and take a best offer on, um, because they were buying multiples there. Here's another mega blocks first builders. This one actually has sounds. So that was pretty cool. This also came from the Goodwill bins. Sold this one for $9.30 plus shipping. This is a uh, 1987 Beastle Winter Wonderland Garland Snowflake Tissue Art. So it's basically um, like a garland that you would hang across uh, for decoration. And I sold this for $12. The buyer was all in for $20.73. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. This one actually surprised me. Uh, this is a brooch. I got it at the Goodwill bin, so my cost of goods was probably like a quarter. It was really well made and super, super cute. And I was like, I'm going to list it. And it sold actually pretty quickly. It's a seed bead girl doll brooch. Uh, probably not the best keywords, but they found it. Sold it for $17 plus shipping. Here's another one of those uh, Wendell August. This one is an outlet cover. And I sold this one for $24.80 plus shipping. These little ones took a while to sell, had them for a long, long time, got them at a garage sale for a dollar. The cage was damaged and broke, but um, they are vintage California stuffed toys, two bunnies. Uh, I thought they were going to do better or sell quicker. Sold them for $24.80, my sale price plus shipping. This is a vintage Snoopy cowboy. This one came out of a thrift store. I'm nope. I'm sorry. This one came out of a mystery toy box that I got from Auctions For You. Um, if you've never heard of Auctions For You, she has a YouTube channel and she sells inventory to resellers. So definitely check her out. I'll have her link down below. And then I had this Snoopy that I got from a garage sale for a buck. So the same person bought both of these. They were all in for $21.70 for both uh, with tax and shipping $26.38. This one came from the Goodwill bins. It's a little live pet. Um, these range from bread and butter uh, to decent money. This one is a major bread and butter. It was not in perfect condition, but it did work. And I ended up selling this for $7.44 plus shipping. It's very lightweight. So probably paid about 50 cents for that at the bins. This right here took a long time to sell. I got it because it was new old stock open box. I got it at a thrift store. I paid $2.50 for it. It is a light on external DVD and R RW drive. I don't even know what this is, but anytime I can find something that's in the original box, I pick it up if it's cheap. I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage Fisher Price loving family, two cribs, two blankets, two mobiles, and the changing table. I sold it as a lot. Could I have made more parting it out? Probably, but I thought, you know, for somebody who, I should have put twins in the title, um, but I didn't, I ran out of room. I pick loving family up all the time. I've got two totes full sitting in my money pile that I need to list, but I ended up selling this for a best offer of $17 plus shipping. I usually buy these in bulk. So my cost of goods was probably about a buck. 
This right here is a Walt Disney Productions chip flocked ornament made in Hong Kong. And he is a cutie patootie. Um, it's an ornament. It does have some, a little bit of issues with the flocking, but overall pretty good condition for its age. So that one and this Snoopy right here, the ceramic Snoopy from 1958, the buyer for the two items was all in um, for $28.52. And with tax and shipping, they were in at $29.24. Um, so this guy I got for a quarter at a garage sale and this one I got at a garage sale for $1. And this is the marking on the bottom made in Japan. The next item are these shoesies and these are like shoes for your fingers. How funny is that? Um, I forget. I think somebody helped me identify these and, um, they came out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold these for $12 and 40 cents plus shipping. So Basically, you put your fingers in them and you walk around with them. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. I guess it's a thing, a toy thing. So collectible, maybe. Here's a Fisher Price loving family dad from 1993. Um, got him, uh, you know, again, in a bulk buy of Fisher Price stuff. Sold him for $10.54 plus shipping. This next item are these 30 discs. Um, it's sealed a TDK. I don't even know what these are for. But I got these at the Goodwill Bins. Anytime I see these things that are sealed at the Goodwill Bins, I pick them up. Um, I believe my sale was off and somebody offered me 25. So I went ahead and took it. I usually run a sale anywhere from 30 to 38 percent off. Usually I think it's 35 and 38 right now is what I'm going back and forth between. So 25 was about what I wanted to get for it. Maybe a little bit less. So $25 on that. And that came from the Goodwill Bins. The next item is this Douglas the Cuddle Toy Horse Stuffed Plush. I got this at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for it. Probably like 50 cents. Sold it for $10.40 plus shipping. If you guys want to learn more about plush, some channels I can recommend are The Rebel Reseller, Zombie the Bargain, uh, Zombie Bargain Hunter, uh, Cajun Reseller, and Flippin' Hippos. They all sell tons and tons of plush and are very, very knowledgeable about it. Definitely check them out. Um, the Rebel Reseller is doing um, category plush videos where she talks about different categories of plush by brand and tells you which ones go for big money. So definitely check out that series she has as well. These are Creative Memories Borderline Stencils. Um, I almost just donated these and I thought, you know what? They're creative memories. I do really well with creative memories. They came in that bulk buy that I got at the garage sale, the creative memories lot. So my cost of goods was probably a buck or less. These ended up selling pretty quickly for $9 and 70 cents. Um, and the buyer was all in for 16 59 for those. All right, you guys, that was a lot of bread and butter bolos, uh, waste of time. I don't think so. Um, if you add up the totals of everything, I mean, it all adds up. And I know in my last bread and butter videos, um, I actually added what I paid for everything and what it sold for. And just the numbers were great. I mean, usually it was like between 30 and $40 and between three and $500 is what it sold for. So um, sourcing cheap and selling bread and butter, you can make a lot of money. So don't pass by the little bread and butters. I mean, even if they're $10 or less, if you can get it for a quarter or 50 cents and flip it for $10, it doesn't take that long to list the item. It's worth it. Somebody's looking for it. You're making someone's day. Um, that's one thing about replacement parts. I will take the time to do them because I know somebody's looking for it. Somebody needs it. And if you watch my Goodwill Benz videos, like I am digging to the bottom and my cart oh, is always full. It's always full because I know that if nobody takes it, it's going to the landfill. And I know how much potential there is for these items to sell as a reseller. Um, but I have an overabundance of a money pile. My, it's huge. So um, again, I'm thinking about bringing more of that stuff to whatnot. You can follow me on whatnot. I am Bolo Buddies. If you've never been on whatnot, it's basically an auction site where I will be live auctioning stuff off. It's super, super fun and I love it. And if you have not joined Whatnot, there is a link down below. You can get $15 of free money to shop if you use that link. So check it out. Um, all of these items were listed on eBay. 
Um, a lot of them were also listed on Poshmark and Mercari. I do use list perfectly to cross post my items. I start on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, I do need to get more items on Etsy, I think. Um, if you're interested in getting your items on more platforms, what I say is like more platforms, more eyes, different eyes, people on, um, and eBay recently started doing this. They must've watched my video because what I always say is, Poshmark and Mercari, a lot of times it's hobby sellers, parents selling their kids stuff, and they use that money to buy stuff. So they're not even looking on eBay. And I don't know if you guys have got the notification from eBay where they're telling you you can spend your money on eBay instead of taking a withdrawal. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so crazy. So I think that's great. Am I going to utilize that? Probably not. I will just pull my money and buy something if I want. I do shop on eBay all the time. Don't hear me wrong. But um, I would rather just pull the money. But I think people are going to utilize it. And that could help us as sellers because then people are not going to go look on Mercari and Poshmark. They're going to spend their money on eBay. And it's, it's a great way to get more eyes on your items, guys. If you want to try list perfectly, there is a video down below that I show you how it works. I show you how to use the catalog and how to not use the catalog uh, the way I do it. But using the catalog is definitely beneficial. I will say that. I've just got too much inventory to try to switch it all into the catalog. So I have not done that. 30% um, off your first month of list perfectly. If you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. So uh, check it out. Check out that video. I think um, not having all your eggs in one basket is also a good thing, especially with the crazy um, suspensions and different things that are going on. Um, if you have not checked out my Vero series, um, what I do is I post a post in my Facebook group and I invite the members of the Facebook group to share items that are either policy violations or Vero's where the item has been removed from eBay and um, or they've gotten a suspension. So these are current items that are being taken down on eBay and people are getting violations. So I'm trying to keep everybody up to date on current issues by posting that every month and then doing videos on that. So I have a whole series. Definitely, definitely go watch it. Turn it on and just listen to it while you work because you're going to hear things and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I have that listed. Um, check it out. Definitely check out the Vero series. Very, very important. I know the bolos are fun, but it's also important to know what not to list. Okay. So thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. If you've been here a while, thank you so much. And be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and if you're kind enough, share. <laughs> Thanks for watching.